I haven't played this game in like a month. I have a feeling this video is going to take like two hours. Investigation just gets longer with each episode and game. But I'm all for it. Let's get back into Ace Attorney. It's literally been over a month since I've played this game. Oh no. What's up, Pearls? It's good to see you. It's March 21st, 11.34 a.m. And we're right in company law offices, as we always are. Oh, this is not good. Well, at least we were able to get Mr. Matt on guard as our client. And we know that he didn't do it, which is very important. So, so now what should we do? Well, the trial is tomorrow when you only get this one chance. There's only one way to prove Mr. Ongard's innocence. We have to find the real killer, aka the killer, Mr. Zipperface, uh, bellboy, with the silver mohawk. Okay, then let's start looking. Uh, da, 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 da. Taking a break from Ace Attorney is always nice, bro. I never have to ask for that. Let us... We don't need to go to the detention center, right? I mean, we, t we talked to him at the end of the previous video. Oh, the lawyer dude. So did you f Wait, so what did you find out? Um, well, I'm still in the middle of investigating. I see. But I've already told you everything I know, dude. That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, can you tell me about your activities last night, then? I, I need, like, you need an alibi, sir. After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had the post-ceremony stage show to do. So, I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. Why is he saying that? I thought he was saying in the previous video that he didn't know... Oh, the post-press conference. Okay, not the stage show. The stage show was a known thing. He didn't know about the press conference afterwards. Okay. My bad, my bad. And you were alone the entire time. My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show. Okay, I jumped the gun. Let's get over it. I told you, dude, I have no idea about any press conference, alright? It's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyway, I was leaving my room when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Carino was already dead at that time. Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. <laughs> and that's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me, and then out of the blue, the dude arrested me. <laughs> the nerve! About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Corita. What sort of... That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. And he wanted to try to make the jamming ninja... Yeah, okay. Th this was said in the previous video. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. You're of no help. Actually, wait. Okay. Alright, shoot. Well, let us go to the hotel lobby, then. We could probably talk to, uh, Wendy Old- <coughs> <coughs> Oh! Oh, her voice requires water! I don't- oh my gosh. Oh, she's here again. And she's got the helmet on. Hold on. Hey. What do you think you're doing? You can't come in without- Good morning. Hold on. It's you. What is going on around here? Uh, uh, um, uh... I heard poor Juan was killed. Is that true? The bad rerun is what this is. Another steel samurai doing the most evil of deeds. Um, you know, that's not entirely... I'll have you know that I was a huge fan of Juan's. <laughs> uh... Why? Why do all the stars I'm interested in drop one by one? 
<laughs> I was just about to say that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. Hmm. Don't push me, boy. Don't push me, boy. Um, Mr. Nick? I, um, I couldn't hear everything she said because she was talking too fast. Miss Oldbag, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around, you spiky head, spotty pants. Blue suit having lawyer hat. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Er. My dear Hammer died a year ago in that dreadful murder. And only recently did I finally find a star that makes this heart go badoom again. I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always ends up kicking the bucket? Um. I'd watch your words. No one's going to get away with saying anything bad about my Juan. But I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. What? Who? Huh? What woman? Lada? Yeah, okay. Man, I... Give me new characters. <laughs> Lada's cool and everything, but until she starts being difficult, like... When she starts being difficult, I don't want anything to do with her. That irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent. I mean, what is that man of speaking supposed to be, and why does ev why does she- Why- and why does she never stop? Okay. Honestly, women these days, they don't know the meat. When I was a young maiden, I was beautiful, but despite this, I pressed flat was over at the store. Pearls, are you thirsty? Um, a little. Okay, I'll go get you some juice or something. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, are you paying attention, youngins today? So I'm guessing this old bag heard everything from Lotta. All right, well now we gotta go find Lotta. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. Ah, I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. Getting ready? For what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. So she knew about it too. So who, who, who knows about it as far as I'm concerned? At this point, I'm willing to say everybody but, but Matt. Will Powers knows about it, Wendy Oldbag knows about it. I'm assuming Lotta Hart knew about it. That's the whole reason she was in there trying to get a scoot. I'm just gonna assume Gumshoe knew about it. Huh, okay, let's keep going. Cue mysterious music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about that murder. Ah, I see. But... Question mark? But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw it very clearly. Okay. Just tell us. What? I saw the most important moment of the night. The, the most important moment? You don't mean- Oh, so now you treat me with respect, you disrespectful child. When you speak to your elders, you should always be polite. Really, kids today. Please tell me, what did you see? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. The murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then, what murder isn't? Here she is lying again. Like, she's not even being, like, blackmailed or anything. This is just her- Oh, maybe she is. Okay, hold up. I can't put anything by her, really. Please don't stray on to another tangent, please. If you want to hear more, then show your respect and bring this lady a present. Damn it. Here, take this. I don't have anything to say to you delinquents. Grr. She's climbing up like the old claim she is. Please, anything would be helpful. Well then, how about I tell you my bet? No. 
Hurley, we're, we're gone. We're gone. Move. 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 That was a trap. <laughs> she trapped us good. Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. Hotel staff and the police are running every are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I, I, you said that before. That line sounds familiar. I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. That's a big word for you. How old is she? <laughs> She's eight. Well, got to roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. Oh, come on, show the sprite of her actually rolling up her sleeves. Uh, yeah. Go to the scene of the crime, for real. Her music is fire, though. Like, this track. Like, I have this on my Spotify. Except, like, the old bit version from the Game Boy games, I assume. Not this remastered. Da, 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 da. Okay. Hey! You're here! Been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Lada. <laughs> hey! Mr. Copfilla, this. the thief showed his face! W what? Arrest him! Put him on trial! Find him guilty! Give him the death penalty! What are you talking- See, this is what I'm talking about. I was talking earlier about, like, she's cool until she becomes difficult. This is difficult. What's wrong, Lotta? Are you, are you feeling alright? Looked here and there and up and down the mountain, but it ain't here. So why don't you just hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Um, what are you looking for? I knew it. My camera! C-A-M-E-R-A! -E it's my lifeblood! I'm gonna die without my $700 camera! Your, your camera? Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always gets back to the scene of the crime? Facts. And looky-looky, here you are! What about you? Yep, here I am, faced with a lot of trouble. <laughs> That's a knee slapper right there. Huh? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? So you lost your camera? It ain't no ordinary camera. You buy it in a store and it's $1,600 brand new. Huh? But didn't you just say you bought it for $700? I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. Damn, he lasted that long. I made this itty bitty scratch on it, and the manager got all huffed up in the face. He gave me this talking to and was real mean about it, too. I read that wrong. I'm so dyslexic. He done made me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night, after the murder happened. I gotta pay attention to these sprites, too. She didn't get away with that one. Must have been when I was busy running around looking into things. But that's when I lost sight of my dear, darling, expensive sweetie. Lotta, what did you capture with the expensive camera? What did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? See? Those sprites don't match up. <laughs> I don't rightly know. I snapped a shot at anything that caught my eye. So, I don't remember. And besides, I couldn't get anything from my big scoop. I wonder if Lotto's missing camera is even connected to the murder. Well, gee, the words are highlighted. I'm going to... I'm assuming so. That is a weird case, bro. <laughs> a very expensive item valued at $1,600. It was stolen around the time of the murder. Lotta, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually I was here until around the time Mr. Ongard was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure you went to school, city boy? <laughs> uh, Ace Attorney is fun. Wherever Lotta Hart goes, there's a story to be found. A big scoop to be had. Big scoop. Missing camera, big scoop. 
Yeah, a big scoop. What is it? Like what? I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. Freaking course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. Wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was also on the lookout for the other stars that were here. Oh, you're talking about those kids? Um, the the dude with like the speedo and someone else, I assume. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time. This is what I'm talking about. Difficult. Difficult. Big scoop. Lotta. Are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? I got some juicy inside info. Okay. Who from, dude? What kind of story was it that you could that you would hang around here? At least she only has two. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Lawyer. Can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know. Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? Except my client. How about that? The person who's actually innocent literally has nothing to hide. That's refreshing, but like, why is everyone else lying? We've been stopped, haven't we? Oh yeah, she can't see him. Aha, yeah. Take that, Mr. Lawyer. I bit my tongue. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta and your I rule smile. This is difficult, bro. Da, 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 da. Oh, sick. Let's go. Oh, whose room do we visit first? Okay, first let's visit our client's room. Man, he is messy. This is kind of giving me, like, first game vibes. Hmm. Like, uh, a messy room, kind of? That, that calls back to, like, episode two of the first game. In, uh, Mia's office. Um, where are we? We're in Mr. Matt Ongard's dressing room. This is our client's room. This is the bellboy. May I help you with something? I... Yeah, see, Phoenix was kind of stunned. Um, uh... We're... You're Mr. Ongard's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. I also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he is your client. She heard you, dummy. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. <laughs> She's smart! Wow! It's a simple deduction, really. Ooh, we got a Sherlock Holmes! The trial's tomorrow, and Mr. Matt Ongard's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here one stop in your mad dash to find clues to build his case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off, either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. Why not? Why not? Who is this? Who is she? The game just listens to me. It hears my questions and answers willingly. I am Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Uh, all right. She may be of small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. Oh, come on, give me a profile, dude. I'm just saying, like, I want to know how old you are, Holmes. I'm just saying. Oh come on! No funny text about uh showing her my uh badge. I told you I hate trifling matters. It's a waste of time to show me things that are of no re re relevance to me. Wow, this is the first time I've been shut down this badly. That is incorrect. Um, I guess I'll just talk to you. 
I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? And I assume you have all the answers because that notebook looks full already. Y yes, that is correct. And I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Onkar. Bro, did she do it? Probably. See? That's how the game gets me. Oh my- okay. I hate, like, having these thoughts because then I get, like, clouded with the actual, you know, foreshadowing. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Ongar. In this very room, I might add. T-bone steak? Dinner? What did you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. But she's a lot of fun at parties. When the award show was starting, I headed for the Viola Hall. I headed for Viola Hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? No, I had some small errands to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh. Preparations for the post-ceremony stage show. I guess. Okay, can you... When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. Ongard. After that, I went to visit Mr. Karita. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? You really held strong through everything! Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. A bit too much. Um, so about you and... Stop right there. You aren't seriously about to ask how Mr. Ongard and I are related, are you? Uh, sorry. I have no idea how could how he could choose you as his lawyer. Get off me. Why did she have to go and say something like that? <laughs> I just I just pictured the gif of like the dude <laughs> with his head down, like walking with a nice landscape from the background of like a city or mountains or whatever. <laughs> Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, alright? Oh, there's something in my eye. I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Ongard's manager. Ooh, you're the person he's been calling. His manager. Speaking of managers, did the victim Mr. Karita have one? No, he did not. He didn't. Global Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios, in that Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her to places like this, honestly. You're wrong! I, I, I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya! Girls, calm down and hang in there. Why would you slay her, alright? Pearls is ready to just scrap with everybody. Uh, Sam. So what did they have? What food is this? What is this? Looks like dishes left over from dinner. A dinner for two at that. I'm sure they're Mr. Ongard and Miss Andrew's plates. Looks like they had T-bone steaks, because no one eats anything else besides T-bone steaks and uh, burgers in this uh, universe. What's with Global Studios and T-bone steaks? Okay, so, okay, I gotta write this down, because I'm gonna forget this too. Global Studios is Matt on guard in the Nickel Samurai, and Worldwide Studios is with Juan Corita. Sorry, was with Juan Corita. It's not savage, I'm just saying. Factual. There's some samurai-looking clothes on the sofa here. Um, I think that jacket-looking thing is called a happy. What? Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. Maya would be absolutely thrilled. Can we take it, then? There's a giant bone sitting on the plate. I... I don't really like meat. That's fine. 
there's something weird about this plate. I just wish I could put my finger on what it is. Oh, there's no knife. Whoa. Look, a knife? No knife. You're telling me like someone ate a T-bone steak with no knife? Just a fork? They cavemaned it? I'm gonna forget that. It's probably Mr. On Guard's suitcase. Someone who was only going to be here for the award show. This is a lot of stuff. Looks like he has about three days worth of clothes in here. Stars really are different from us, aren't they? Only because they choose to be. That's the bedroom over there. That's a bed? Wow, they have really big beds here. Is that it, really? <laughs> uh, she's 23. <clears throat> yeah, okay, there's no knife. Whoa, okay, murder weapon, murder weapon, murder weapon, murder weapon. Watch me find the knife in Juan Carita's room. Bro, can we move? Da, 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 da. Oh, where is it? I mean, I remember, like, the, the promotional art for him. I'm not surprised all these animals are here. He's snacking. You got the roly. Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in Mr. Juan Corita's room, Pearls. Mr. Corita? The victim. She makes this the crime scene, too. Oh, it's you. So, what's happened? The kidnapper. Has he contacted you again? Not yet. Probably won't until we win Mr. Ongard's acquittal. Um, you doing okay, pal? Hanging in there? Just want Maya to be alright. We're all hanging in there. We don't have a lot of time left, but I'm going to help you as much as I can, pal. Can you do that? Even if we want to look around the crime scene? Just this once. Special circumstances. Right, pal? I'll even tell you everything I know, but you've got to keep quiet. It's my neck on the line here. It seems like that's always the case, bro. Like, how is this different? Thank you. Oh, that's right. I got you guys a map of the hotel. Of the hotel, pal. Here you go, little missy. Wow, you're giving it to me? Thank you! Haha, <laughs> wouldn't want you to get lost in a hotel too big for its own good. Mr. Nick, I got a map! That's great, Pearls. Aha, yay, okay. Um, but Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. Map of the Gatewater Hotel around the crime scene. Okay. Can I look at that? Holy shit. Okay. Okay. The lobby is where... One second, hold on, what? Okay, Viola Hall is the area with all the food, and the lobby was going- Oh, because it's circular, duh. I could have inferred that. I need to give you a different voice. Let's just say something happened to you, like this this murder shocked you or something. You get a different voice. Oh, Mr. Wright, how are you? Ah, Mr. Powers. Have you been here the entire time? Yeah, people connected to the murder aren't allowed to go home, let alone leave. And the lobby is circular, so this is where the post press Post press conference show was going to happen. Okay, uh, I'll come back to you, Mr. Powers, in a little bit. Okay, let's talk to Gumption. Calls it death. Please say it was a stab wound, bro. Please say it was a stab wound. Do you know what? The, do you know what was the cause of death? Well, technically, the final autopsy report isn't out yet, but one look at the victim should tell you, pal. 
It should. Yeah. Here's a picture. <laughs> Damn, they really fought in here, huh? A vase was broken. There are, like, rose petals everywhere. The wine was untouched. He was just playing his guitar. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. He died from that? Dude, the knife is, like, barely piercing him. It's not even over, like, a vital area. Nah, 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 nah. He was poisoned. I think. I didn't read that previous text, my bad. Yeah, pal. What's- that's the murder weapon. So he was stabbed to death. They're looking at the fingerprints down at the- down at the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife? Yup. And it looks like they're pretty sure they got Mr. On Guard's prints, pal. So that- so that plate to the right was his. <clears throat> That's bad. Real bad. What if Juan Corita's murder scene? So why was Mr. Ongard arrested? Because we had evidence on him. Duh. Evidence? It looks like the victim, Juan Corita, really put up a big fight. Oh shit, I didn't even realize you could- Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Yeah, one look at the crime scene and you can tell. This dude really had, like, plushies everywhere. He had some T-Bone steak too, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a lot. Okay. There's signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah. During the fight, his button came off. Mr. Ongard said something about a button. Something like one of the jamming ninja's buttons got caught in his hakama. But that's not all, pal. What? There was a witness, pal. Don't tell me it's, uh, a Adrian Andrews. This is starting to get difficult. Ba, 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 ba. That lady, Miss Old Bag. Please, anyone but her. Prosecution has plenty of plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention, there's something around here, there where the victim. There's something around where the Vic was that's a little bit off. God, something that's a little off. As in... As in, that's for you to figure out, pal. All right, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick. It's a beautiful wine glass. I thought so. I was looking at the picture, I'm like, that looks like it could be a vase for flowers, but it's too thin. But it also looks like it's too tall to be a drinking glass. But I guess it's not. <laughs> And that's not even wine, that's tomato juice. It's a beautiful wine glass, and there's tomato juice in it. Ew. Tomato juice. I don't really like it much. It's fine. There's a bottle of it on the table over here. That's probably where this came from. Oh, it's unopened? Ooh. Is that... Is that blood? Doesn't it seem weird? What seems weird? I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. Yeah, okay, that. Okay. That, you know what, I kind of looked at that too, but I didn't say anything. I had it for a quick thought, but then I kind of let it go, because... I don't know. She's right. The flower vase was broken and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Oh, you're talking about, like, over in that general area. Why is this glass the only thing that's still all right? Found next to the victim, it's filled with tomato juice. No sign it's been drank. You sure it's tomato juice? Bottles of cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. It's 
probably where Mr. Corita fought his assailant. Assailant, my bad. What are these bits of glass from? Flower vase, maybe? There are flowers on the floor, but I don't know where they're, what they are. I don't know much about flowers. Do you, Mr. Nick? I just said I don't know what they are. Looks like Mr. Corita had dinner last night. This bottle is tomato juice. Had a lot of food at the awards show that night. But I wonder if the stars have gone on stage after only eating a meager meal like this. Oh, darn, not just a T-bone steak, like... So that's a bed, right? Yep. Big, but it's a bed. Ah, uh, Mr. Neck, it's so soft! Big beds must be a rarity for her. This is a guitar case, I guess. A little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar is not here. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't- it wasn't even in his arms, too. Maybe he forgot to bring it to the show? But, Mystic Maya, she said Bright Red Guitar was jamming Ninja's signature item. It's true. Huh? This guitar case is wet. But it's only wet on the top of the lid. Someone opened it and took it after the struggle. Easy. My my deductive skills at work, yes. Yeah, there's no water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? Found next to the victim. Empty. There is some water, but only on top of the lid. Jesus Christ, dude, this, this, like, still right here is so busy. Okay, okay, let's look at his history, maybe? <laughs> it's so messy, I agree. Girls really likes things neat and tidy, I take it. There are a lot of electronic things in here that I've never seen before. Hey, Mr. Nick, tell me what they are, pretty please. Okay, uh, that over there is a watch. You wear it on your wrist. I know what a watch is. Oops. For a second there, I forgot I was talking with pearls, not Maya. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, it's a suitcase. There are so many things in it that I bet it rarely, rarely closes. There's his clothes. A dryer, an electronic shaver, a calculator. Do all stars pack too much stuff like Mr. Karita? Yes. Yes, they do. Wow, there are a lot of bears! Alarm clock ones, collector's editions, stuffed teddies, plastic models. It's pretty overwhelming. Is there a kind of bear he doesn't have? There's even a few in the trash can. Yeah. Get the feeling maybe the guy didn't really like bears? Teddies. It's hard to bear with all these problems. Growl. Ah! <laughs> Why? Why did you just think that? I don't think I want to bear with the trauma the last case caused me. Phoenix, Phoenix has PTSD. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? <laughs> Nothing, Pearls. It's okay. Don't worry about it. There are all sorts of things in this refrigerator. The carrot juice bottle and the tomato juice bottle are both empty. Empty? It's too much of a hassle to throw them away, I guess. They're all vegetable juices. I guess he must have been a real health nut. <gasps> oh! There's a beet! Some ketchup and a bottle of strawberry jam, too! Maybe red was his favorite color. I wouldn't doubt it. Let me look at that picture again, bro. You see, the guitar is not in sight. God, I hate this. Can we, like, look in the dresser? No? 
And you appeared out of nowhere and you scared me. <clears throat> what can you tell me about this guitar case? Oh, that. This is just what I heard, pal, but that's the Jam and Ninja signature item. The guitar case? No, not that. What do you take me as? I mean, the guitar inside, of course. But the guitar is missing. <clears throat> yeah, we looked for it too. It's not normal for a person to forget to bring their most famous item to an award show. It's starting to sound like that red guitar is related to this case after all. So about this wine glass. Uh, so you noticed it, pal. The whole crime scene was a mess, but this glass was the only thing that was untouched. You noticed that too, Detective Gumshoe? No. Actually, Miss Von Karma noticed it first. Where is she, bro? I want to see Von Franziska. Yeah, Pearl's noticed it before me, too. Hey, wait a minute. So, does that mean Miss Von Karma's here at the hotel? Yeah, she's around. Man, you're going to be in so much trouble, pal. Especially if she catches you in here. Yeah, you're gonna be in trouble too. Well, you can bet the instant I see her, I'll be running the 1,000 1, meter dash. She's about to be like, uh, Majima in Yakuza Kiwami. Which, which I'm streaming over at my Twitch, uh, link in the description. Oh no! Is that the transceiver? What? What's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Hmm. I've heard this sound somewhere before. Oh no! Oh, that's right. Okay, I thought it was the transceiver. Oh, I got scared. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? For some reason, whenever I hear that sound, she pops out of nowhere and whips me. Come to think of it, that's exactly what happened that last time. Sorry, I've got to make myself scarce. Later, pal. Ow! Hi, Franziska. At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Would it be too much to ask for you to be nice to me for a change? So you're the type to steal information from pitiful, hopeless detectives. That's very dishonorable of you. Whip, whip. Ow. Hey, don't you dare run away, scruffy McTrenchcoat. Ugh. I didn't think the detectives of this country could be this pitiful. Ugh. Detective, come over here for a second. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I feel better knowing at least you were man enough to face your punishment. It was so scary. He just froze up on the spot. Mr. Phoenix Wright? You. You have soiled my perfect prosecution record. I'll never forget that. This time, victory is mine. Victory is yours. Is that all this means to you? What? Humph. <laughs> Come, Scruffy. The investigation briefing is about to begin. Y yes, sir. This isn't over yet. I swear on my family's honor. You know who would, you know who would be the best voice for her, bro? Greg Griffin. Absolutely. I just realized I'm starting to sound like Azula doing her voice. Ow. What did she throw at me now? To my dearest Wendy. John? Or Juan, sorry. <laughs> Juan? To my dearest Wendy, old bag, Juan? Well, I guess this means I gotta get back to the precinct now, pal. If you ever need me, come down to the criminal affairs department, alright? And if you can, Try not to let Miss Von Karma see you. Shit. Come on, bro. Pick it up. 
Pick it up. Uh, move, 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 move. I gotta move, 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 move. Let's go back. Uh, okay, let me... Um, I'd like to ask you about this. I hate trifling matters. I'm literally showing you a picture of Juan Carita's dead body. It's not a trifling matter, it's the whole reason I'm here. Here we go. You were the one taking care of the arrangements for this press conference, right? Yes, that's right. But Mr. Ongard said he didn't know about it. Is that what he said? Huh? Actually, I didn't know all the details either. Don't try and twist it. It was a request from the publicity department. All I did was help out and do what I asked. And do what I was asked. Okay, I read that wrong. Oh, I see. I wonder about that. I wouldn't take her to be the type of person to do something without knowing the details. Facts. I hate talking about myself. It's a trifling matter, that's why. Sorry. Take away that layer of sarcasm, she really does seem to hate herself. Wow, that's... don't say that. Okay. I asked to become Mr. Ongard's manager. He's a pleasure to manage with this, his nice disposition. Hmm. Mr. Ongard does seem to like... does seem like a rather weak-willed man. Always doing as he's told. He's always saying, my manager, right, Mr. Nick? Dude, do you have him under your thumb or something? Did you know the victim, Mr. Corita? Yes, I knew him. The world is such a small place, after all. Did you know about his rivalry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over their most trivial things. If either one of them wasn't so stubborn, then maybe no one would have needed to die. What does that mean? I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's letting on. She must know why Juan Carita was killed. Bro. Do you have any ideas? As to? As to why Mr. Carita was murdered, maybe? Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job, so do you have any ideas? I have three people. I have three people with Cyclox with a total of 11 cap. 10 locks, bro. I'm not into this. I'm, I've been recording for an hour already. I'm making no progress. Miss Andrews. Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is it a psych lock, Mr. Nick? That's an understatement. It's gonna be more and more of these lately. Uh, I hate these. Alright, let's go talk to Will Powers, bro. I'm tired of, like... If Will Powers has a psych lock, bro, I might turn off the game. My man. Can you tell me a little bit more about the Nickel Samurai TV show? Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. The Nickel Samurai is an action hero program aimed towards kids. It's the sequel to the Steel Samurai. I see. This time, there are three samurai brothers. Aluminum Samurai, Tin Samurai, of course, the Nickel Samurai. It's a love why in Neo Old Tokyo. I see. Wait. A love what? A love why? This girl, Sayo, works at the tea shop and all three guys fall for her at the same time. I guess the Y shape is like the three brothers colliding over this one girl? Anyway, Sayo is actually the daughter of the evil Strawberry Clan's leader. 
sounds like an unusual situation, like Romeo and Juliet times three. Y yeah. Strange thing is, this sort of forbidden love story is really big with the office ladies. Um... Yes, Pearl. What, what happens next? I want to know. Miss Sayo, does Miss Sayo fall in love? She does, doesn't she? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. I'm going to stop watching Kids Masterpiece Theater starting this week. I can't believe she's really considering this, bro. So what's the Jam and Ninja TV show like then? It started from a remake of an old movie, to tell you the truth. The Jam and Ninja, like the samurai shows, is geared towards kids. I might use this track too. I've been using the Blue Badger theme for like ever now, but uh, this track kind of hits. It's the story of a ninja who can't scale a wall but became a big pop star anyway. Uh, what? He was a really lousy ninja, absolutely couldn't do any ninja things right at all. But boy, could he sing. With his, trusty yeah, with his trusty bright red guitar in hand, he took the ancient world by storm. A, a ninja with a bright red guitar. And then, the final fight in front of his beloved princess Misola. Jamin versus the Muramachi 5. Or Muramaki. Suddenly, our brave hero catches a not so Jamin cold the night before Battle 3. Aw, that's too bad for him. Yeah, but this kind of pop music based love story is something high school girls really like. I'm trying to base his voice off of not necessarily like the way it sounds, but more of a speech pattern thing. If you, it's hard to tell, but I'm trying to match Troy Baker. Like that dude is in everything, but if you ever hear him talk in interviews, if he's just talking normally, or like he's talking about something he's really into, we'll kind of get into like this kind of fast paced, you know, talk about something, right? Um... Yes, Pearl? What happens next? I want to know! Jamin, the, the Jamin Ninja, will he be able to sing? What about Princess Masola? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. I watch them both. Just get two TVs, lol. Okay, please, he's really good. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, my man, here is your dead friend. Sorry. Thanks for taking the time to take it out and show it to me, but I'm really sorry, I don't know a thing about it. Okay. Here we go. That guitar case. That was Juan's. I'm guessing you've seen this case before. It's pretty famous by now. It stands out because it holds the bright red guitar. The bright red guitar. The Jam and Ninja signature item. We've hit an hour of recording time, good god. But if the guitar is so important, how could he forget it for the award ceremony? That does seem a little strange, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know where this camera is? No. I can't believe it. A kidnapping. Do you remember what the person looked like who gave this to you? Facts, right. Yeah, the bellboy. He said the bellboy gave it to him, right? It was that bellboy. And... And... I didn't suspect a thing because he looked like such a normal old man. Old man, huh? Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, see, one sentence in Will Powers is in the clear. I had my suspicions about him in the initial uh, investigation video. They called this so suddenly that something about it just seems off, you know? You mean the press conference? Yeah, he said, there's something I'd like to confess if I win. I heard he faxed his request for a conference in to the office only yesterday. 
Which was the day of your murder, right? <laughs> that number 16 is gonna mean something, dude. Yesterday. Yeah, that is kind of sudden. But I guess his manager set everything up somehow, so he was lucky. Hmm. Nice manager. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and ask her about that, huh? Whatever. Oh! Can you tell me about her? Here we go. That ding means something. Do I have this up at all? No? Okay. <clears throat> hey, that's Miss Andrews. She's Matt's manager. Actually, I was interested in her for a little bit. Just a little. I don't blame you, bro. I don't blame you, bro. I'm the same age as Will Powers. <laughs> hmm. So, Mr. Powers likes this type of woman. I don't blame you. She's got her shit together. So, what do you know about Miss Andrews? See, these sprites, dude. Well, see, here's the thing. I don't really know her, know her, you know? <gasps> There's sort of a small rumor going around about her right now. A rumor? Ah. If you're interested, I'd be glad to share what I know. He's so happy, but he looks like a lion that's just found his next meal. Yes, talk to me, brother. Gossip on Adrian. Would you mind telling me about this gossip? Uh, so you are interested in it. I, I figured you would be. Yeah? I have such a weakness for celebrity gossip, too. Oh, oh, really? You too, huh? Oh, Maya, maybe. Okay, give me that, please. Yeah, so take a look at this. Looks like a tabloid Ms. Oldbag would read. Alright, let's see here. Jammin' Midnight Rendezvous. To the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss AA. You, you see now, don't you? What? You can't. <laughs> you can't stop pretending to be in the dark, Mr. Wright. Juan Carita didn't have a manager of his own. Which means if we were talking about a certain manager with the initials AA. Adrian Andrews. Yes, exactly. This is big news. But, it seems kind of odd. That woman, Miss Andrews, together with the biggest rival of her client? Ah, uh, it's that wonderful thing that only- that can only happen between two people. Mr. Powers looks so happy! Pearls is just following along, not having any idea as to why she's smiling. Well, like the saying goes, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. An article from the tabloid Gossip Land. That's trash. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, yeah, let me now go press her about that. <gasps> I'm losing my voice. Okay. A superstar in an ultra hot mega secret love scandal? Reliable sources say that Juan Carita has been getting in close with the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss AA. Bro, what are you talking about? Jesus Christ, bro. Okay, let me save real quick. And let me... Let me just try, like, let me just try this, just to get an idea of, you know, what she's on. If anything, I should do Lotta first, because she only has two. Motive for murder. Ooh, yeah, the tabloid thing definitely could come in handy. Okay, that makes sense. Why was Juan Carita murdered? If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hmm. Why are you hiding things? But you've realized you're putting Mr. Ongard's life in danger by your actions. 
Why do you ask questions for which I have no answers? The truth is, I was not that close to Mr. Kurita. You were not that close. That's right. I've never been good at being intimate with another person. That's not a trifling matter. You are not good at being intimate with another person. Somehow, I highly doubt that. You and Mr. Karita had an intimate relationship, did you not? Silly third-rate tabloid article. If you even had half your wits about you, you wouldn't believe such rubbish. Well, it seems quite a few people have already bought into this story. Hmph. As to be expected in a world filled with crooks and liars. But the self-standard good side. In any case, I despise interpersonal relationships like that. I see. However, what if there was a need for you to get close to someone? Me? Need to get close to Mr. Karita. As if there was ever such a need. Did you get close to Mr. Karita for this person's sake? You really still not understand what? For this person's sake, is it her? Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. I am loading. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, she might be the last one then, because I currently know that she was just involved with Mr. Karita, but not for any reason, or I don't know the reason. So, yeah, let me actually, Lada, let me press you, bro. You only have two. Let me see if I can just knock this one out of the park. Oh, she read the tabloid! Oh, it wasn't about the press conference. She was trying to catch them in action. Mmm. S-M-R-T. I mean, S-M-A-R-T. Lotto, will you please answer my questions? On the night of the murder, why were you loitering around the victim's room? I told you, didn't I? For my scoop. What I want to know about are the details of this scoop. Th that's not something I can tell you. I mean, that there's my bread and butter. All right then, an unpleasant tabloid photographer looking for a scoop. I'm going to say that you were looking into a scandal. Uh, 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 uh. uh. Could it be that you, lot of heart, were looking for a break with a huge story? Perhaps an unfolding scandal between Juan Carita and this person? I would have never got this had I, like, just jumped the gun. Th this woman? Dude, she's in the other room. Like, you want to go press her? She's Adrian Andrews, Matt Ongard's manager. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. The Nickel Samurai's manager caught secretly meeting with his rival, the Jammin Ninja. It would be the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? Okay, there's one. Pretty good at this guessing thing, Mr. Lawyer. But you can't just make up any old thing and think it'll make the papers. You gotta have backup. Just the newspaper. Easy. Backup? Y yeah, yeah. You gotta have that. That's what it... That's what's... What, that's what's it... New sauce? What? You mean... New source? <laughs> that's it. So show me something that shows the Juan guy had something to do with Miss Andrews. Easy peasy. Squeezing lemons. This is the article from a certain weekly tabloid. Jam and Midnight Rendezvous? To the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss A.A. Ah! Mr. Carita didn't have a manager of his own. What's more, his rival, Ms. Ongar Mr. Ongard's manager, Adrian Andrews, she has the initials AA. You saw this article and then thought to take some pictures of them as proof. 
That's why you were lurking around Mr. Karita's door last night. Ah! Let's go. Please give me some information that I can use on others. <laughs> bam, bam, let me save because I just did a psych lock and I don't want to have to do it again. You were looking into Mr. Karita and Miss Andrew's affair, weren't you? You got it. I was going to get myself a scoop by catching him in a secret meeting. There's already an article about it in one of the weekly tabloid magazines. It's no longer breaking news. What'd you just say? Her initials are AA. What kind of vague thing is that? That ain't no proof of nothing. People are going to want to see real proof. Well, at least I do. So that's what I was doing. Getting photos. Oh! I'm gonna whip up the Raider's entrance with some gossip and a little misleading. She's a natural. Then spice it up a little and have myself an exclusive story. Wow, Fada. Nice journalistic integrity you got there. I already finished writing up my spicy article, you know. But... The paper I wrote it on. My note to myself. It's gone. Okay, this is a lot. Your note to yourself? It was inside the case of my $1,600 camera. We gotta find that, bro. We gotta find that. They done run off together. I came here for my big story. Didn't come here to have my treasure disappear on me. Y yeah, I understand. It's enough to make a gal go bonkers, I tell ya. What's with people now, anyway? I never thought I'd see the day when someone done steal something from me. You really want that note back, huh? Got no idea why, though. The story on that note is probably a bold-faced lie. Stolen a tabloid article about the victim was in the case. I gotta find it, bro. I gotta find it. Okay. Uh, who else has a psych lock? Wait, who? Wait, what? Who, wait, who else has a psych lock? It was her? Oh, Wendy. Okay, I was about... I completely forgot about Wendy Oldbag, bro. Let's go see her. I was over here thinking, like, who, who the hell else has a psych lock? Uh, okay. Let me ask you about some... Tomato juice. Okay. Let me ask you about this picture of dead Juan Corita. How come nobody wants to talk about, like, the dead, bro? <laughs> God damn, okay, I thought she'd have it. Um... Really, you don't want to talk about anything, huh? Well, uh, well... Oh, let me... No? You really got nothing to say about nobody? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, let me just try and talk to you about... Uh... Your Cyclox. You got four. I don't know how I'm getting through that. Okay. So many chains. What you witnessed. Alright, I'll be honest with you for now. Then please, tell us what you saw. But, oh, what a waste. And here I have a perfectly good chance to have a little fun at your youngin's expense. I am a little devil, after all. Um, doesn't that imply you aren't a good person? Alright, I'll give you what you want. What?! Oh, she wants a gift. Um... What? Yeah, well, yes, but then forget it. There's no way I'm telling you. I'll give you what you want. She did say she wanted a gift. What the hell could she want? Okay, I have no idea what she's wanting. Okay, I'm stumped, bro. Like, I'm... I'm... I'm stumped. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. Yeah, okay. What the hell? 
God damn, hold on, brother. Okay, move. Oh, okay, gum shoe. Okay, that's a lead. That's a lead. I'm kind of stumped right now. Let's let's find some new things. Hmm. It doesn't look like Mr. Scruffy Detective is here. Great. No, even Pearls is calling him Scruffy. Thanks, Franziska. Said something about an investigation briefing earlier, right? Why don't we come back and try again later when we're when they're done? Okay. I guess that's all we can do, right, Mr. Nick? Yeah, I guess. Fuck. My man, you gotta talk to me, man. You have to talk to me. Tell me about this lady. That's my manager. Did you meet her? Uh, yes. What do you think? Strong woman, right? And she takes good care of me. Such a mama's boy. <laughs> okay, uh... Look, dude, I didn't kill him. I mean, the Nickel Samurai kicked the Jammin' Ninja's butt, right? So it's not like I felt threatened by the likes of him. Ooh, let me show you this tabloid then. Hold on. Being rivals sounds like a sad way to relate to one another. Yeah, okay. What about this then, bud? What do you think about this article? Hmm. If you're talking about her thing with Juan, I always thought she was a bit careless in the way she handled it. And that's it? That's it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have gave this to uh, Wendy Oldbag. Maybe. Dude, I know I like to throw money around, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, let me go talk to... Maybe I have to give that to Wendy Oldbag. Maybe that's the gift she was wanting. Is she going to keep that on the entire time? No. Uh, I probably tried that already, didn't I? God, I'm a dummy. Uh, oh yeah, you know Will Powers, right? I've seen him somewhere before. Is he a member of my fan club? That's Mr. Powers. You put respect on Mr. Powers' name, sir. Isn't he supposed to be kind of like a mentor to you? Powers? Uh, yeah, he's the guy on that kid's exercise program. He was also the Steel Samurai, bro. Put respect on his name. Damn. I gave him an autograph just the other day. Doesn't see Mr. Powers as a mentor at all. What the hell? I feel like I might have to talk to you a little bit more, sir. Matt's younger than me. Or Matt's younger than me. But you can practically see his star potential. His star potential? I got his autograph the other day. Yeah, he said so. It feels kind of wrong now, doesn't it? I don't care what people say. Matt didn't kill Juan. I know he wouldn't. He debuted around the same time as Matt and everything, you know? Started out small. First it was singing contests, then swimming competitions. Then it was bowling tournaments, and then it was who could throw the best. New Year's, oh, throw the best New Year's parties. One was always trying to one-up Matt. But lately those two were escalating to more and more dangerous things. I thought that no good would come out of it, so I began to worry. Too bad Juan's story ended so soon. Hey, is my face really all that scary? Kids won't come anywhere near me. But when I cover my face, they're all shocked because they would figure out who I am. I think your face makes you look like a very kind person. Aww. He's crying. Yeah. Uh... You know, I was probably told something and completely forgot, so that's why I'm stuck. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, wait, what was the other thing? What was her... her second question to, like, break the first one? Let me see again. Old Bag wants a gift, I gotta remember that. 
Okay, you and Mr. Karuda had an intimate relationship, did you not? Silly third rate tabloid article. If you ever have half your wits about you, you wouldn't believe such rubbish. Well, it seems quite a few people have already bought into this story. Okay, however, what if there was a need to get close to someone? What if there was a need for you to get close to someone? My bad, my bad. Let me try one more, let me try one more. Maybe Lada? I don't know. Okay, one more. Let me try. Just one more. One more, one more. Damn it. For this person's sake, dude, I'm gonna have to have, like, another profile. Either there's, like, one more person I need to figure out, or I'm just not understanding why she would do, you know, what she did. Did I not examine everything here? How did I not see that before? Good god. This is the gift that Wendy's wanting. Oh my gosh, okay, I found it. Let's go. Let's go, full steam ahead. Mr. Nick, what's this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Autograph? Paper's got Mr. Karita's name written on it, so it's his autograph. I can't read it at all. Yeah, I could barely read it. <laughs> I read that shit and I said, Jean? To, to be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. Ah, it's the special way of writing called cursive. They tell you in elementary and middle school that everyone writes like this, but that's bullshit. Look here, see how it says, to my dearest Wendy, in more normal letters here? This sloppy, unreadable writing, it's crazy and cruel to give this to someone. Hold on. Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere. Juan Carita's autograph to my dearest Wendy is written on it. Okay, okay, okay. Progress. Let's go. I finally found something. I'm excited. Let's go. Wendy, old bag, here I come, bro. Bro. Okay. She wants the gift. Okay, okay. Good. We're here. We're here. Alright, I'll be honest with you for now. Then please tell us what you saw. Give me a gift. Yeah, I'll give you what you want, bro. Take that! Take that. Ugh. That, that, that's... That's Juan's autograph. Yes, it is. And it, it, it even says, To my dearest Wendy, on it. That, that's me, right? Right? She all huffy? Um... My name is Wendy Oldbag, so that Wendy has to be me, right? Maybe they wouldn't say this if it wasn't important. Um, is Adrian Andrews really Adrian Andrews? Um, let's see. Well, it may say Wendy, but somehow I don't think Juan had this Wendy in mind when he signed it. Right. If him and Adrian had something, bro, like, just look at his face, bro. You know he's the type of person that would, like, write notes. And be like, you know, romantic like that. <laughs> oh, please give it to me. Let me have it. Please. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. I can't let you have it. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, I know. Then how about an exchange? Here we go. Wow. Okay. That that did not go the way I thought it would. See, this game had me thinking I was going to be here for a long time. I have been here for a long time already, but... My offer isn't good enough for you? Fine, Mr. Wright. You win. Wendy Oldbag, ready to open up her heart. 
all for my dearest one. That's crazy, bro. I, <laughs> I would have never guessed that. That is insane. That that just happened. Autograph given to Wendy Dearest. Talk to me, bro. I'm going to tear you a new one if you're just on some BS. I feel bad for you now. Huh? I tell you, I saw him that night. I saw him coming out of Juan's room. You're kidding. Oh no! It was about 10 minutes before Juan's body was discovered. It was just a coincidence. I was on my way to the toilet, minding my own business. And did you tell that to the police? Well, of course. I thought I could get a gift certificate or two out of it, maybe more. Gift certificate? I've been recruited again for that part of the trial. You know, the trial tomorrow? Oh no. Witness. This time, you're gonna get it. I'm gonna work hard to get your client pronounced guilty. <laughs> Pearl's like, <laughs> step up. <laughs> what's, what's good? But Mr. Odgard hasn't done anything bad. I don't care about details like that. I know he did my poor, my dear poor Juan. I just do. That yellow belly chicken. A yellow belly chicken? I wonder what that would look like. I trust my senses. I know what something, I know what someone did something bad. And I say he did it. What did Mr. Argar ever do to your fish? What did Mr. Angar do to you to make you so... You don't know. Ooh. That guy. He framed my Juan. He created that scandal that plagued poor Juan. Ha ha ha! Matt Angar did him dirty. That is insane. Okay. Mr. Nick! Wh what is it? What's a scandal? My god, um... I'll, I'll tell you about it after we get home, okay? Poor Juan, led astray by the vials of that- or the wiles by that vile tempers. What? Mr. Nick, what do vials and vile tempers mean? <sighs> Pearls, I'll tell you when we get home, bro. Okay? How about we just listen to what Miss Oldbeck has to say for now, okay, Pearls? So, Miss Oldbeck, who is this woman you're talking about? Adrian Andrews, of course. Who else? That guy. He shoved the girl onto Juan on purpose. He shoved the girl onto Juan on purpose. Ooh, did he want her, like, off his case? As in, like, I don't want you to be my manager anymore? Whoa, maybe, okay. His own manager? But why? I thought lawyers were smart. It was to create a scandal to make Juan lose face. Oh, because they have a rivalry, okay. That girl drove Juan into a scandal that dragged his reputation through the mud. That girl drove Juan into a scandal. Sounds like a pretty standard definition of a scandal to me. Why do you know about that anyway, Miss Oldbag? I'm one of Juan's biggest fans. I'm always out there gathering information. There's nothing I don't know. And do you have proof that Mr. Ongar did what you say he did? Next week's issue of a certain magazine says so. Ugh. Of course, tabloid. Ooh. That's smart. Next week? Doesn't that mean it's something some people don't know about yet? Why would Miss Oldbag have information like that? Where did she get it? Lotta? <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Detective Gumshoe said they had an investigation briefing. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Hey, pal. So you came, pal. Hm. Why the blunt greeting? Um. Because there's nothing to be friendly or happy about. What do you mean by that? 
well, things look perfect for this time around. The evidence and testimony are airtight. But, but we, we can't just roll over and die, we have to stay positive. Bro. So what do you mean the evidence is airtight? I can't give you all the details, pal, but there's two big pieces. Two? And both of them are in this photo. Yes. Oh, that big button. Okay, yeah. Hmm. That's the button. That's the button that you found during your body search of Mr. Onguard. Yep. I found it in the folds of the Nickel Samurai special pants. Uh, 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 and, and the second one is... The knife in his chest, pal. The fingerprints on the knife in his chest, to be exact. Fingerprints? Um, whose are they? You didn't even have to ask, little missy. It's obvious. They're Matt on guards. Tomorrow's trial. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. So what about this airtight testimony, then? It's that old security lady, Miss Oldbag. I thought so. What do you mean, you thought so? Did she tell you something, pal? Um, well... And I even told her not to open that mouth of hers and blab to anyone. Her blab knob is stuck on 10. There's no turning it down, trust me. Yeah, well, Miss Oldbag saw it all, pal. She saw Mr. Un Mr. Ongard come out of the victim's room around the estimated time of death. No way! That's Cat. She said 10 minutes beforehand. Oh, never mind. Yeah, exact. Oh, before he was found. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Jesus Christ, bro. We're pretty interested in this bit of gossip ourselves. Scandal with the scandal with Mr. Corita? But why? Well, two years ago, a woman that scared me, bro, committed suicide. What the hell does that have to do with this scandal? Her name was Celeste Impax. Maybe that's the person that I, uh, have to pick for, um, Adrian's, uh, Cycloc. Adrian! The victim's manager. But that's not all, pal. Miss Impax was Miss Adrian- was Miss Adrian Andrews' mentor. Yes! Here we go. She taught Miss Andrews everything she knew about the business from square one. Her mentor? The woman who was both Mr. Corita's manager and Miss Andrews' mentor. Could her suicide have something to do with this case? I feel like everything has something to do with this case, Phoenix. Like, what? Do you want to know more about her, pal? Do you have to ask? She was the victim's manager and was also Miss Adrian Andrews' mentor. It's been two years since her suicide, and now those two are linked together again by de another death. What? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. She's like, you're talking too much. <laughs> I'm getting sick of dealing with one foolish idiot after another. Miss Von Karma. You can't seem to stop allying yourself with the enemy, can you? I don't need a traitor in my midst. You, you, you don't, you, you don't mean. I do, Scruffy. You have 30 minutes to get out of here. You are no longer needed. Goodbye. Wait. Please wait, sir. If I don't get this month's pay. <laughs> Quiet. If it weren't for traitors like you, I would have won. Is that what you want to say? <laughs> Who? That voice. Uh, 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 uh. 
<laughs> Edgeworth. Da, da. It's been a long time. Right. Uh, he's back. This person. This is Mr. Edgeworth. What am I going to do with you? Still blaming others when things go wrong. You haven't changed a bit, Franz Ziska. Mmm, he, he shut her up, bro. Y you. How dare you show your face to me without a shred of shame upon it. You've soiled the Von Karma name, dragged it through the mud. You even ran away with your tail between your legs like the ill-bred dog you are. Are you talking about the Von Karma family creed? To be perfect in every way. Then let's hear it, Francisca. How are things going? I hear you are having a rough time man maintaining perfection in this country. Y you You seem to be getting crushed under the weight of it all. That's why I came back. Ah, uh, it's so good to see this man. Keep your assumptions to yourself. I I haven't given in yet. I won't lose. This case is mine. I'll never hand it over to you. Never. Mr. Phoenix Wright. I will see you tomorrow. In court. It will be a clinical lesson on the meaning of total victory. <laughs> Still the same wild mare she always was. Can I give you a hug, bro? I wanna give you a hug, bro. I thought you, the prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, had gone and died, brother. Mr. Nick? I... I never wanted to see you again. I think that's enough for a warm welcome for someone who haven't, you, you haven't seen in a year. Are you going to run tomorrow's trial? You heard her, right? That wild mare hasn't given in yet, it seems. So, no. I don't think I'll be making an appearance. Your hatred for me is quite unhealthy. Not to mention one-sided. But I will say one more thing. You can't win on your own at the trial tomorrow. The heck is that supposed to mean? I have something definitive that you lack. And working together is the definition of teamwork. It's the power to find the truth. The truth? In order to understand this case, you have to understand a certain truth. Well, if you ever feel the need for my assistance, it is available to you. I'm not in charge of this case, so I can be a bit more generous with information. What is going on here? A lot of things may have happened. However, Manfred von Karma was still my mentor. And a perfect win record is proof of a von Karma. One year ago, you could not establish guilt in a few cases. Were those losses the reason you suddenly disappeared from the prosecutor's office? Did you leave because you had lost your perfect win record? To think your motivation for prosecuting trials was so selfish. It would have been better for everyone if you never came back from the dead, Edgeworth. Jeez. Let him have it. I see. And let me ask you something. Why do you stand in the courtroom? What is your reason? Well, with Franziska, she almost always says, I will defeat you this time. The instant see she sees me. The instant she sees me. <laughs> but... The courtroom is not a personal battlefield for prosecutors and lawyers. I stand in the courtroom to defend my client. To save their lives. To save your client, you say. Those who think only of their own... Those who only... Those... What the... F those who think only of their own ego-driven goals. Those kind of prosecutors are reprehensible to me. Even if you're a prodigy. Or someone like you, Edgeworth. Looks like there is still a lot you have to learn.
A lot I have to learn. Me. <laughs> well, that's enough for now. The time... The time when you will see is coming soon enough. What... Does that... <sighs> okay. Fine, let me go back to the... Let me go back to, um... Uh... Jesus Christ, bro. Where am I going? Wait. Okay, this is good. The screen is actually good. That's garbage. Looks like Miss Andrews isn't here. That is not good. I still have a few questions I want to ask her. And she has that psych lock on her heart. Right? Well, we don't have much of a choice. I guess we'll have to come back later. Damn it! I have to keep talking to... Edgeworth? Then? <laughs> Ugh. A gifted prosecutor. He disappeared suddenly a year ago. Hmm. Ooh, here we go. Hmm. This woman is another key to solving this case. D do you really think so? She was Adrian Andrews' mentor a long time ago. But she was suddenly called away by a different show and became Juan Corita's manager. And then, a few months later, Celeste Impacts died. But her death was ruled a suicide, right? Yes. But there is still one riddle we've yet to solve. A riddle? Her suicide note. It went missing. No one could find it. A suicide note that just vanished, huh? Miss Impact's death was most certainly a suicide. Of that there is no mistake. However, we could not find her suicide note. That's when the police began to suspect that someone had hidden it. A suicide note? But how do you know Miss Impacts had even written a note to begin with? There was no such solid evidence, however, we did find traces of ink on her right index finger, which makes the likelihood of a suicide note very high. But who would hide such a thing? The police think it was Mr. Juan Corita himself. The victim? He's still chewing on that thing, bro. He was the one who found her body. Which makes him the only person who had a chance to hide her suicide note. Mr. Corita hid his own manager's suicide note. But why? This investigation did not have to take this long, bro. As long as her note is missing, any speculation beyond this is meaningless. For now, I think you should look this over. This is the suicide report. Part one, anyway. Part one? Deceased. Jesus Christ, bro. Celeste Impacts, found by Juan Corita, was her suicide note hidden. My man. My man, my man, my man. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh wait. I don't like to look through reports. I like suicide reports even less. Worst of all are the reports that have multiple parts like that one. That has two. Two parts? What you just handed me is the first part of the report. Here is the second part. That's a weird way to give me the second part, Capcom, but I'll... I'll okay. The second part of the report is about an attempted suicide. The attempter's name is Adrian Andrews. Miss Andrews? Um, what did she do? She... she tried to kill herself? She doesn't seem like the kind of person to try and kill herself though, right? You think she's a strong career woman? That's just what she wants you to think, no way! Adrian Andrews. She has a certain secret she's always trying to hide. A secret? 
her dependent nature. That's what she's really like on the inside. Miss Andrews. Dependent. Talk about the exact opposite of what the woman wants, or is. Where- where is it then? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why was that at the top? What's this about Miss Andrews having a dependent nature? Adrian Andrews attempted suicide. It was a few days after the death of Celeste Impacts. And? And why did Adrian Andrews think about committing suicide? Because she had apparently lost her will to live. Lost her will? Why would she... Her pillar of strength, her mentor Celeste Impax was gone forever. That's why. Oh, so maybe that drove her to become independent? That way she doesn't have to rely on anyone anymore? She doesn't want something like this happening again? Ouch. Maybe. Is that what they call following someone to the grave? After her attempted suicide, Adrienne Andrews started attending counseling sessions. She is someone who needs a person in whom she can trust absolutely. And once she finds that person, she'll do anything she can to keep them near. Without such an anchor in her life, her crippling anxiety st stifles her ability to live. And that's... that's the nature of her dependency on others. Jeez. When Celeste Impact suddenly committed suicide, the world before her turned pitch dark. That's according to Adrian Andrews herself. Then, that means her super confident attitude. It's all a facade. She's only copying her mentor's behavior to hold herself together. How terrible. Jesus Christ, bro. Attempted suicide report added to the court record. Good God, bro! Oh, well, we're for sure finding her. We need to talk, bruv. Oh, Miss Andrews is here! Yay! It looks like she's talking with someone. That's Franziska von Karma. No, 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 no! Miss von Karma? What are you doing here? <laughs> um, well, you see, I'm his lawyer, so... You've got some nerve following me around. Following you? Th that's you, Miss Von Karma. You're the one doing the following. <laughs> Step to me. <laughs> I'll unlock your lights out. <laughs> Pearls. You're always following after that Mr. Detective with the little beard. Me? Following after Scruffy? Don't make me laugh. Let me show you something interesting, little girl. Oh, she has him tagged. That's hilarious. What is that? An electromagnetic receiver. I planted a tracking device on the detective. And with this, I know that fools every move. So that noise we heard was this receiver. I feel really sorry for poor Detective Gumshoe now. Now then, let's stop wasting time. Adrian Andrews. Y yes Think hard about what we just discussed. Think hard about what we just discussed, understood? Uh, Alright. What were those two talking about? Miss Andrews? She seems a little dazed, doesn't she? Yeah, you're telling me, bro. Hopefully this is the last thing I have to do. I've been recording for over two hours now. You want to tell me about this, bro? I'd like to ask you about this. Okay. Okay, yep, it's time to press. Let's get her. Take that, Take that. let's go. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
You are not being good. Uh, wait, you are not good at being intimate with another person. Somehow, I highly doubt that. I think, yeah, this is the answer, right? Yeah, you and Mr. Kurita had an intimate relationship, did you not? N uh, yes, I see. However, what if there was a need for you to get close to someone? Me? No need to get close to me, as if there was ever such a need. Did you get close to Mr. Kurita for this person's sake? Celeste Impacts, your mentor. How do you know about Celeste? Just one? Come on, bro. Miss Impacts, she committed suicide, didn't she? But it looks like... Ooh, new sprites, but it looks like no one knows why. Right before her death, she was Juan Carita's manager. So I believe you got close to Mr. Carita so you could find out more about her suicide. You have a great imagination. You may have a future yet as a slimy muck... M muck... 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 Muckracker? For a putrid third-rate tabloid? Jesus Christ. But Miss Andrews? But there was no mystery surrounding her death. None. It would be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Is that really true? Is there really no mystery at all? I don't believe you were completely at ease with the way her suicide was resolved, bro. I, uh, yeah. Get a hold of you. What are you talking about? You tried to kill yourself. What? Huh? If you want. Wait, if. What? I don't believe you were completely at ease with the way her suicide was resolved. I presented this. How, how is this not. Like. Oh. Um. The first one. Okay, that was weird. Oh. Okay. Never mind. That makes sense. That makes sense. Miss Impact's suicide note was never found, was it? Oh. Anime guess. <gasps> Looks like the police were under the suspicion that someone had hidden it. Like maybe the person who discovered her body, Mr. Corita. J. J. Juan? And Miss Andrews. I believe you thought the same thing. That is why you became intimate with Mr. Corita. Okay, there's another one. Another one. I, I've sat back quietly and listened to your insulting ramblings long enough. It's true that Celeste was my mentor, however, allow me to say this again. It had nothing to do with me. I didn't even know that her suicide note was never found. I'm a person who doesn't care about what's going, what goes on in the lives of others the impression you would like to give. However, I don't think that's who you really are. What? I have evidence that says otherwise. This is proof that Celeste Impacts was someone very special to you. That's harsh, bro. Miss Andrews, you... You nearly went through it... <laughs> you nearly went through with it too, didn't you? Went through with what? Ending your life. This game really is... Is this game, like, teen rated? This can't be for everybody. I'm saying according to the ESRB, not not my personal whatever. Miss Andrews, you look and act like a very strong woman who has it all together. You don't ask for anyone's help, relying only on yourself. It, yes, I've been very independent ever since I can remember. However, that is all just a lie. A facade. You've always searched out people on whom you can depend. Depend on. Th that's. You were dependent on Miss Impacts, weren't you? Which is why. When, when she passed away, you lost everything you had. S stop! When Celeste passed away so suddenly like that. I, I died a death of my own, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about what had become of her note. You must have heard about the police report. The one that said the police report suspected Mr. Corita of hiding Miss Impact's note. You heard about it, 
and thought to recover it from him by getting close. Am I right? If that's the case, then everything changes. What, what do you mean? What topic did we start this discussion on again? It was why was the victim killed? Exactly. Somehow, Miss Andrews, it seems that you have become the one with the reason to want Mr. Karita dead. M me? This impacts was everything to you. And then she died. And Mr. And Juan Karita is the suspect, bro. Not the suspect, but like, you know, hit her note, what have you. And you would do anything to find out why she killed herself. Even commit murder. Murder? Let's go! God, I hate those, but those are so satisfying when you complete them. Talk to me! It's true. I am a woman who can only live in insecurity. I'm physically small, no you're not, and I don't really have a lot of self-confidence. I've pushed against all that, though. I've tried to live strongly. These, these tracks. I never wanted anyone to find out the truth. That's the same sprite. Or just stance, rather. Miss Andrews! This one thing. It's the one thing I wanted to take with me to the grave. It was my secret. Mine and mine alone. I... I'm sorry. You probably think I'm a worthless human being right now, don't you? Please, Miss Andrews, all I want to know is the truth. After Celeste passed away, I heard that someone had hidden her suicide note. And that someone was on Corita. And that someone was Juan Corita. Celeste. Without her... Without her, I became scared. Everything. Everyone seemed like they were out to get me. So you got close to Mr. Corita to recover her suicide note, correct? Looks like the tabloid reported the truth after all. Ironic, isn't it? Well, like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if they purposely add fuel to the fire, they keep the celebrity world burning. Facts, bro. Message. That is a message even today. 16 years later? As for the su or like 18 years? When did this game come out? 2002? But as for the suicide note, I didn't and wouldn't kill anyone for it. Just doesn't suit me, that's all. Well, that's enough for now. I still have work to do, so... I understand. Oh, I have one small favor to ask. My attempted suicide. I'd like for you to keep it a secret. Miss Andrews? If... If people found out about my weakness, I... I would sooner choose to die than live. Uh, uh, all right, I understand. We'll keep it a secret. Miss Andrews, Jesus Christ. Because she's the overthinking type. She probably never says anything without carefully thinking it through first. Thank you for your discretion. Mr. Nick, can I ask you a question? Or can I ask you something? What is it? Miss Andrews has been playing with that card in her hand since a little while back. Yeah, I noticed that too. That card? Yeah, I guess she has. Miss Andrews, what is that card you're holding? Huh? Uh, oh, this? I don't quite know. It just suddenly appeared in my handbag. Yeah, it looks like a seashell. No shit. What, is that supposed to be a fingerprint? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? I honestly don't remember owning this car. I wonder where I picked it up from. Her not remembering something clearly? Sounds like it would be a rare occurrence. Well, I must be off. I leave Mr. Ongard in your capable hands. Oh my god, bro. What? Else? Okay. Pearls, where are we going, bro? 
Where? Well, I think we've gathered about all we can. We've spent two hours running around this damned hotel. What, what about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Oh, Pearls. She looks so worn out by all this. If only I had a webcam. You'd see the same. She hasn't slept at all. And she's been walking all over the place with me today. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Let's go back to the office for a little while. You're really tired, right? Oh, no! I'm okay. Really. I'm fine. I really am. <clears throat> you don't look fine to me. Let's go back to the office, bro. What did I say? Bro, the killer is gonna be here. So, what now? Well, we did find one thing out for sure. Miss Andrews has a motive. You mean Miss Impact's suicide note? That's right. She was also the one to discover the victim's body. Clever. Brr, 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 brr. Huh! Mr. Nick, the transceiver! Beep. Hello. Right in company law offices. Mr. Attorney, you're not answering a phone. M Maya, where's Maya? As I promised, I have not gone within a few feet of her this whole time. <sighs> Which is why, I suppose, she's absolutely famished. Wh what? So I suggest you win a quick acquittal, my friend. At any cost. Wouldn't you agree? Wait, Maya, let me hear her. Very well. Ask my... Maya, is that you? Sis, ask my sis. Uh, where's Mia at? Pertly, I need you to go to work. I need you to channel some uh, spirit energy. Mystic Maya said, ask my sis, didn't she? Sis? What does she mean? Come on, Phoenix. Huh. You're a hopeless one. Um, sorry. Uh, Mia! Aww. It's good to see Mia. I have a message from Maya. So come. Ask me anything you want about her. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, when is this ending? <laughs> I guess I should just be ready to play Ace Attorney for, like, hours on end whenever I start recording, huh? How's Maya? She's safe. For now. That kidnapper is one to keep his word, it seems. Glad to hear she's safe. But, Mia, how did you know- As soon as she was locked up, Maya called for me. She did. She did. She did. I read the note she left. And I gathered as much information about her surroundings as I could. I didn't know you could use spirit channeling like that. It's pretty smart. It's kind of smart. The kidnapper, what's he like? I don't know. Apparently, Maya went to, an, to answer a phone call at the hotel and was drunk there. And? She didn't see the face of her attacker. Arr. Maya's locked up in a very dark place right now. I'll tell you everything I heard when I was with her. When you were with her? Oh, look at that piece of paper. Was that there before? Uh, I'm starving. I could really go for some apple pie. I mean, at a time like this, sweets are the only way to go. I have to say positive. He promised me he wasn't going to kill me, and I'm not going to die. Sis, I wonder if you're with Nick right now. <laughs> Bro, am I, like, did I accidentally skip over something? What am I on right now? If I don't do something, the door, f if I instead of the door first, I don't think we'll be moving anywhere. Okay, okay, okay. What's this? Huh? Someone dropped a card here! 
it kind of looks like a business card. But there's no name on it. That's ass, bro. I hate this, bro. It's a picture of a seashell. Okay, so wait. So either Adrian Andrews is the killer, or she's working with them, or someone is trying to make it look like she's working for them. Let's go. Okay. Three, three possibilities right now. What a strange card. Yeah, you, got, you could drink, yeah. What's this? Feels like there are a lot of glass bottles here. Is there not a light right there illuminating this? And these... They feel like barrels? I'll pass. Too bad I'm really hungry. And not really thirsty. Drat. It's locked. Hmm. But this door's lock seems easy enough to open. On TV, the hero always uses a plastic card or a stiff piece of cardboard. Then click! They magically open the door. I wonder if there's a card like that around here I could use. Ah, that's it. This shell card. If I use this, maybe I can get the door open. This might be my key out of here. I had a feeling this card might be useful. I'm such a genius. All right. Now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Kidnapper. Click. I did it. No, that was just him, bro. Now I'm getting the heck out of here! I shouldn't keep Nick waiting. We're worried. <laughs> no, bro. No! No! Oh! <laughs> I hate this. It says part 2-1, so there's obviously going to be two parts to this trial. But is this it? Because that investigation took forever. I will admit some of that was due to, like, my negligence, right? And my inability to, you know, look at things on the screen or what have you. I gained so much information this episode. Well, I know that Adrian Andrews is a very sophisticated person. They are very heavily involved with... They were heavily involved with Juan Corita. And even... You know, the dead. Matt on guard stayed the same, bro. Like, I got no information out of him in this video. Somebody announced the post-press conference show. Which, what the heck was that all about? Was that to make sure nobody was near the hallway, maybe? That was just kind of more of a diversion and not necessarily a, you know, huge point and what have you. Lotta was originally trying to get the scoop on Adrian Andrews and Juan Carita. Celeste impacts, huh? That's crazy. Bro, why can't we just channel her? We could do that spirit channeling BS. Uh, get her to like, just read her note, maybe. That'd be interesting. Oh my gosh, like, yeah, see, Adrian Andrews even said, like, this card just showed up in my bag. So, but she could be lying, bro. No, she wouldn't. Not, not that I, now that I found out who she really is, she wouldn't lie. Who could this dick killer be? I don't, like, I love that Miles Edgeworth came out of nowhere. I loved seeing him again. The timing is just too, like, inconvenient with, you know, things that are going on. I have no idea who it could be, to be honest. The killer is a mystery to me at this point. I I have no idea who they could be. I have no suspects, which is crazy to think about. Especially after I investigated this long. Okay, whatever. Leave it alone. The trial is next. I love the courtroom. I love being in the courtroom. I love piecing things together and making Phoenix just look like a badass in the courtroom. If you liked this, these videos, please consider leaving a, a thumbs up, a comment on what you think of Ace Attorney Justice for All, and like my voice acting, maybe? Hello? Along with Ace Attorney, you see what else I'm playing. I will uh, note that over on my Twitch, 
I'm going to be streaming Ghost of Tsushima exclusively. That's the only thing I'm going to be streaming over on my Twitch. I am going to try and record some footage at like, you know, 1080p to try and make like a stream compilation. If you want to see that or anything else you see on the screen, please consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube or following me over at Twitch with the link in the description. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you are staying healthy and safe out there. And thank you for watching.